excited to have you here today because I'm going to share with you, we're inside my home, a little bit different, but there's a reason for that. And that's because I'm going to share with you a piece of technology that I have fallen in love with. And uh, I just think it is, it's just something I want you guys to know about. And that piece of technology is this right here. It's the JM Go N1 Ultra Triple Laser Projector. And uh, I, <clears throat> I've just fallen in love with this piece of tech. And today I'm going to share with you um, its history, why I've fallen in love with it, what it does well, what it's replaced, um, maybe some of its you know, points where it can be improved, but overall, why I've selected this piece of technology to be in my home. So let's get into it. I have been looking for a projector for some time now to replace my 80 inch ultra high def 4K television that I've had that used to be behind me. And uh, this company came along fortuitously and said, hey, we've got this N1 Ultra. We'd like you to take a look at. And I get, I get stuff like this all the time on my channel. And 90% of the time, I just, I just turn it away because usually it just doesn't, it's not something that uh, fits my lifestyle. It's not something usually that's quality. A lot of the times they send it to me and then I say, I'm just not gonna do a review on it because it just didn't meet my expectations. But <clears throat> they said to me, look, this projection system is kind of one of the kind in the world. Uh, it is a triple laser system that there's no other system in the world that's a triple laser system. That means it gives you a really, really good, hot, vivid picture with a very high contrast ratio. And it delivers it in a really small portable package that's stylish and best of all, it's really quiet. So I said, well, I mean, check, check, check. Those tick all the things that I'm looking for in a projector. I haven't found one yet. So yeah, if you want to send it to me, I'll be glad to take a look at it. Well, I've had it now. And, and I told them, you know, I, I'm not going to promise you a review. Uh, I always have to check out the product first. And my other thing is, you know, my review is going to be my review. Uh, you don't have any editorial control over it. You can't, you know, tell me what I need to say. Um, you have, you can't say that I need to change it. So those were the, those were the requirements, and I'm happy to say they, they agreed to that. And that's always a good sign because uh, any time that a brand agrees to that, it means that they really, they really believe in their product. That was the case with the Panoramic, uh, and it's the case with this, this projector as well. So they sent it to me, and um, you know, it, was a, it was a pretty big change set up for me because uh, I, you know, when you get these projectors, uh, it's not like you can just, you know, pull them out of the box and you, you need like a screen, for instance. So I had to go out and I had to, you know, buy a screen. I had to hire someone to come in to install it in my home. It was a significant investment. But ultimately, at the end of the day, this piece of tech just blew me away and I decided, I've decided to keep it. So this is my, this is my permanent setup now in my home. It has replaced my 80 inch uh, 4K television. So I'm going to share with you today what caused me to make that decision. It was, it was a big decision for me. Um, and um, what were the two, two primary reasons why I went with this projector? Why did I go with a projector, A, and then versus a standard television? And then B, why did I go with this projector? So let's hop into it. All right, so um, I think the best way to, to look at this stuff is for me to actually set the camera up and show you what I'm seeing. So everything you're gonna see from here on out is actually me just pointing the camera at the screen. Hey Siri, movie time. And um, so this first shot is the Universal logo. And uh, initially, I'm, the camera's placed where I'm sitting on the couch. And then I move the camera uh, about five feet from the right of the screen, and then I move it to five uh, feet uh, on the left of the screen, just to give you an idea of the resolution 
and the quality, and you're going to be blown away with the brightness, the saturation, the colors, um, the high resolution. I, I did this because I think if I didn't do this, you would think it were fake when you see the, the first initial Universal logo come up. Come up. Okay, so um, this next sequence, this next video shot is just a test ultra uh, high definition 4K video. And man, I'm, again, the camera is seated on the sofa with me and you can see just how, look at this, how bright and vivid and brilliant these colors are. It just is mind blowing and how clear it is. This is 4K resolution being projected up to a 110 inch screen. Look at it lighting up the room. It is absolutely stunning. This is the first video that Giulio and I watched and our jaws just dropped. And it doesn't, this video doesn't even do it justice because it's coming from my camera. You can just imagine if you're sitting in person watching this video, it's immersive. It fills up your entire view of, uh, you know, the screen. It is crystal clear. It is vibrant. It is hard to believe actually that you are watching uh, a projection. It's just, it's absolutely stunning. This was the first time, this was the clip that actually convinced me right out of the box. I was like, I'm keeping this projector. This projector is incredible. I, I literally, I could not believe the quality that I was seeing. Look at those colors. That's all laser reflected light coming off the screen, just lighting up the room. Brilliant, brilliant, wonderful contrasts, just absolutely gorgeous. This next clip is from Star Trek Into Darkness, and I chose it because it's just great cinematic example. It goes from you know really bright scenes, really colorful scenes to dark scenes in space, to a lot of action, a lot of motion, to standing still with dialogue. And I thought it was just a great example showing uh, how uh, this projector does with just a typical type of movie. And I have to tell you again, this was just highly cinematic, sitting only you know 10 feet away from the screen and just having it fill your field of vision. This is another this is an 8K demonstration, but of course we're projecting it to 4K. But I wanted to show this because of the detail, the 4K Ultra HD resolution, and the brilliance of the colors. And pay, pay particular attention, you know, the colors just look spot on. They're not oversaturated, but they're beautiful. Look at the contrasts here. Look at the dark areas. Look at the light areas. It really does dark. And this is not even a cinegra. Look at this city. You can see every window on this, every single window in the high rises. But this is not even a Cinegray screen, which gives you even better contrast. This is just a regular, fairly inexpensive white, it's not even ambient light rejecting screen. Take a look at the quality. You can see the pollen on this bee's legs. Uh, it's, it's truly stunning. The colors are truly stunning. One of the beautiful things about this projector is it's really, truly portable. There's just one cable, it's connected to the stand, and so I can move it into the kitchen, like you see here. And uh, I like to project it onto my concrete backsplash, and I get a large, you know, really beautiful, vibrant, large picture uh, as I'm cooking. And uh, the speakers that are built into, I don't have to have a separate set of speakers. It's got really nice sound quality built into the uh, projector itself. There's two 10 watt, I think are the, they're, they're 10 watt speakers. Nice, nice bass, nice treble sound. And, um, and because of that, there's nothing I need to do. Now, as you can see here, I'm showing, this is the automatic gimbal. I have it set on the menu, automatic gimbal adjustment. So as I'm moving the camera, uh, the, the projector around, it's automatically adjusting the keystoning, the focus and everything. Um, it doesn't look like it, but you can see it's not stretching the image at all as I'm moving it left and right. And that's the, uh, that's the automatic uh, gimbal correction. Now here you can see the outlet, the, the, the uh, light control is in the way. So you can turn on a setting that says smart object avoidance. Here I am 
in my room and I just, again, just can project onto the ceiling uh, right above the bed and you have this enormous uh, movie screen right above your bed, it's perfect at night if you just want to watch something while you're in bed. Take a look at this. It really is beautiful and bright and so easy to do, you know, you, you just, you know, carry the, the, the projector up there and it figures it out when you, it's got sensors on the front and it figures out uh, how to automatically adjust itself to get a beautiful picture like this. Now keep in mind, my ceiling is sloped here. So not only is it not flat, but it's uh, sloping upward and it's figuring it all out on its own on how to get it to look exactly square when you look up at it. So now let's see how this thing performs in you know, the middle of the day. So in this room, I have a floor to ceiling, two story uh, glass windows on the left of the projector, uh, letting a lot of light in. I've got uh, a, another window here that's two stories to the right of the projector that's letting a bunch of light in. And then uh, in, you know, Back here behind the screen, I've got a whole set of windows uh, which go across the room. And then as we pan upward here, you see I've got a skylight as well. Uh, so, you know, this room uh, acoustically is set up really well because, you know, we have, uh, you know, vaulted ceilings up to the second story. It makes for a very theater-like sound system. But um, as far as light is concerned, here you can see where the projector is and you can see all the windows that are around it. Uh, and what it has to compete with in order to uh, you know, project its laser light onto the screen and, and give you a good picture. And now let's just take a look at what that picture looks like. And here. Okay, so this is uh, during uh, the middle of the day. So keep in mind, I have no window coverings at all in this room. And uh, you saw the amount of light and windows that we have uh, in this viewing area. So this is the middle of the day, um, and this is pretty much, I've adjusted the camera to be what I'm seeing. So like when I'm sitting, you're sitting right in front of me. We're both on the sofa. And we're both at the same distance from the screen. Uh, and you can see A, that it fills up pretty much your field of view. Um, and then B, the colors are really good, you know? and the resolution's good, and the contrast is pretty good. So this is, this is during the day, and I'm just trying to give you a, a realistic look and feel for how this projector performs during the day. Now, would an LCD screen be better? Yes, of course. Uh, it's, not, it's not competing with light coming in from the windows, uh, and then ref you know, that light that's coming in from the windows is reflecting off the screen right now. Uh, and so it's competing with the laser light that's also reflecting off the screen. Uh, but um, it's certainly not bad. And you saw that when we show this at night, it absolutely blows the 80-inch um, the TV away. So for me, this is, you know, this, is the type, this is the type of compromise you have to make. I'm not watching a lot of TV during the day. Maybe you do. I'm not watching a lot of TV during the day. So this is perfectly, absolutely acceptable for me. Um, but you may be the type of viewer that, you know, you do watch more television during the day and this is not as acceptable to you. So you just have to make your call. But for me, um, look at this. I mean, this looks great. The colors look great. The contrasts, look at that, are, are great with the branch there behind the, um, the chimpanzee. And... Um, uh, the resolution is really g great for me. Uh, and I get the added benefit that this is just on an absolutely enormous screen. So, all right. Now keep in mind, this is coming through, by the way, this is coming through the Apple uh, 4K um, Apple TV. I have this set to SDR. When I set my Apple TV to HDR, it tends to be a little more blown out. Uh, the image is not as vibrant. So what I do is during the day, if I want to watch something, I switch the Apple TV to SDR 4K. And then at night, um, I switch the Apple TV to uh, HDR. And I just get higher dynamic range at night. Uh, so during the day, it looks better in SDR at night. If you want even better quality, higher dynamic range, switch it to HDR. Now, I should point out that, you know, when we use the uh, projector, in fact, let's take a look at that right now. So when we use the, um, 
let's exit the Apple TV and let's just look at this same video on the projector. So here it is, same video we just picked up here, um, but this is running off the native YouTube app on the projector. And so what you'll notice is, what I've noticed is the projector's default settings um, for, it, for itself, um, the colors are a lot more vibrant, um, the contrasts are better uh, in general. Uh, but I don't, you know, I only use the built-in uh, Android TV on the projector if I'm moving the projector around. Other than that, like when it's set up here in my living room, I'm using the Apple TV. And I think the Apple TV 4K, you know, uh, SHD um, is, is fine for me during the day. Ultra high definition at night, it looks fantastic. But you can see here, this is, this is really good. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. It looks really good, really nice. Broad daylight, All with no window covering, nothing's closed in this room. All right. Yes, yes. So I am super excited about this projector. I'm super excited to have brought it to your attention. Go check it out. There's lots of reviews out there uh, about this projector. You can get uh, you know, into the weeds in terms of its technical specs and things like that. But at least for me, I'm super excited about this, this projector. Uh, I just love the look of it. I just think it's so understated, but kind of premium looking. Um, I, you know, getting the stand really has made this thing look sculptural for me and it's made it really easy to move it around. As you could see, I could move it into the kitchen, which I do do when I'm cooking. Um, it's nice to have a much bigger screen projected right up there onto my backsplash. Um, the built-in speakers are fantastic. It means I don't have to carry an extra set of speakers in it. Um, being able to, you know, take it up to the bedroom. Um, and watch movies up there, you know, it just, it's opened up a whole new world of, of uh, cinematic, you know, uh, quality experiences in the home. The quality of the picture, I mean, it's hard for the camera to really pick up <clears throat> how stunning the picture is. I tried to do it for you. I tried to move the camera around, move it close, move it back so that you could, you know, see what the quality of this projector is. Um, but you really kind of need to see it for yourself. But it really is jaw-dropping. The first time that Giulio and I set it up and we watched the movie, we just could not believe it. We kept on saying to each other, man, look at the resolution. Look at the colors. Look at the contrast ratio. This is really a level above what we were used to, a level above what we were watching on the 80-inch television. And then to have it projected onto a screen that's you know 110 inches uh, and really truly immerses you into the cinema experience it's it's changed it for me and so i think you know this is this is the way to go in my book this is the way to go i think it um, and the added bonus for me is i've now have the layout for my house for my living room and dining room that i've always wanted People have now come into my house and, sit at, and have noticed things that they didn't notice before because we don't have that big black hole in the wall over here that's drawing your attention. They've noticed and said, wow, you have a really beautiful view out those windows. And I think it's because this projector allowed me to reconfigure the room in a way that not only gives me a better theater experience, but then when the TV is off, the screen is raised, it's almost, you know, the, the technology disappears you know, from sight, it becomes transparent and you don't even know that there's a TV in this room. It calms this room down, it opens it up. And so I couldn't be happier, honestly, I couldn't be happier with, than with this projector. And I'm looking forward to taking it on the road too. I'm looking forward to taking it into the RV. How cool would that be to have this, ha have a portable screen in the garage of the RV that we take out and when we go someplace, set up a campsite, even invite your campsite neighbors in, have this, you don't need anything else. We got a, we got an outlet on the RV. We can plug this into the outlet on the outside, put the screen up, everyone, you know, your family, friends at the campsite, we can all enjoy a movie. It's got the speakers built in. I'm gonna do that. It's, it's gonna be an incredible experience. So check it out, JMGO N1 Ultra, triple laser projector by JMGO. Uh, I, I really highly recommend it. It's, it, I think, it, 
uh, it will change your theater viewing experience. Um, I really do think that. So check it out. The price is great, as I said. Uh, it started off at closer to $3,000, which e even at that price point, for me doing my research, it was a great deal, but it's now come down to under $2,000. This is their top of the line uh, triple laser projector. Um, so uh, if you're in the market for upgrading your television, upgrading your cinema experience, then I can highly recommend this JM Go N1 Ultra projector, really. It's, it's really incredible. All right, that wraps it up for today. Thank you for, so much for spending time with me. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for coming into my home. It's very rare that we, that we are in my home together, but it's been nice having you in my home. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review of the JM Go projector, and I will see you next time on my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.